Hello everybody and welcome to episode 20 of the Pal World series. And good monkey. Yes. Craft that cement. What did I what was I doing? Alright, oh, I wanted a small feed bag. I learned how to make this quite some time ago. And let's get the battalion crafting it. Nice and quick. How long does this take? Oh, not long at all. I believe I should have all of the necessary electric organs to craft a generator and upgrade our base. Again. If I remember correctly, the generic standard settings when you start a world with this which is my objective with this to see how they want you to play it had a limitation of 15 pals working at your base at once let's go ahead and put the generator next to this thing yes we do have the exact amount of organs we'll put it right here there we go now where's that battalion get to crafting this yes good battalion but that means that after this generator is done we only have one more upgrade that will actually impact the efficiency of the base Anything after that, I guess, is just hoopla, right? Let me check. Base upgrades? Yes. It might be necessary to increase the amount of bases I can have, because it says I can have two right now, and I believe that goes up to three. I doth believe. Let's go ahead and collect this ore. The Tombats have been working real hard. Also, what is making me so heavy? Ron Cherry meat. Just start eating some of this unnecessary stuff, like wheat. Hmm, did I get any wheat seeds out of this ordeal? I think I checked this once an episode now. No, I didn't. It was part of my intent, but I got distracted. Also, this damn tree is back again. Every day I have to take this damn thing down. <laughs> Every day I will. Just for the convenience of being able to see this incubator properly. Let's go ahead and hatch this egg. What a large dark egg becomes is a Nox. Isn't that like a little cat? Why would that come from a large egg if it's a small cat? Oh well. The world may never know. Let's put in the large common egg. Let's keep getting the heaviest ones in first. Picked up a frozen egg along the way. Let's drop that. We have, oop, no, Batalia, get to doing your thing. I accidentally just absorbed it for no reason back into its sphere. Oh, that's part of what's weighing me down. The insane amount of wool I picked up. Let's put the bones in here. Some of this. Hmm. Oh, right, they're done. I can upgrade my base and assign a new pal. Let's do that. Level 14. All right. If we look here, this next upgrade will give us the maximum 15 pals working at a base. And we can do three bases total. First thing we're going to need is the weapon assembly line. Weapon assembly line. Weapon. Let's go ahead and learn this pal condenser. We have a bunch of ancient technology points. Weapon assembly line. Production assembly. Not the goal. Giga shield. That sounds good. I'll learn it. Production. And a weapon. Weapon. Weapon assembly line. Did I read that properly? Let me check again. Base upgrade. Weapon assembly line. Checking again. Let's see. We're level 28 and our objective is what level exactly? The high quality hot spring is one of the objectives and that's at level 31. Ah, oh, weapon assembly line. 32. That's gonna be a while. Which is fine. The rest of these upgrades have been going insanely quickly. So it makes sense for them to start pedaling the speed a bit now. Let's see. What do we want to assign in this extra slot here? I'm not sure. We have a lot of new things, actually. First off, we have a new flyer. What does this thing do? Destructive. Is it's passive? Sanity drops faster? Pretty irrelevant. Don't care. I don't think I have to worry about the sanity of the creatures in my team, really. They don't seem to be affected by it at all. Might be wrong. Probably not. Let's learn the saddle for the- oh, hold on. What is this? Bird of Ferocious Wild Pals. If I remember correctly, that was the one with Lee's Punks. Is that right? I think so. Yes, yeah. we're about to find out. It's too bad this keeps happening while I'm at this base. I swear I'm not trying to cheese the game. The devs should probably do something about this, because I don't want to move my base. Well, let's see what all of this is. I can't tell what it is by the icon there. Uh, oh, we have an incineram again. I definitely want this thing. They have good crafting skill. Oh, it's level 31. I think that's the highest level of anything that I've fought so far. Things borderline bossed here. <sighs> this bird is too slow. On to the wolf. Here we go. There we go. The wolf is definitely faster than the incineram. That's a plus. Stop running from me. It's not worth it. Oh, he picked a fight with the chickens back here by running into them. Oh, the dungeon door is missing again. Not cool. Well, let's just keep wailing on this thing, I guess. Get the crossbow out. <laughs> just take our time. <laughs> ah, it's so goofy that their AI just derps out like this. Oh, there's more than one Incineram. Cool. You know what? I want to kill the Lee's Punks because they're in the way. The Incinerams are far more valuable. <laughs> they're all just bunching up at this entrance here. This is so goofy looking. 
Oh, they've started moving. Why? Why are you moving? What changed? <laughs> what did change? Where are you going? <laughs> what is wrong with the AI on these things? I need to work on these raid pals. I'm out of stamina. Ugh. Stop running. It's not worth it. Oh, that's not the one I'm trying to hit. When you use the attack moves on the back of your pals, they have a sort of auto-aim feature, which makes you sometimes attack pals that you really didn't want to. Wait, did they just... they just despawned. Okay, I... All right, well, they successfully defended. <laughs> well, there's a quick travel thing over here. Let's go ahead and just use that to get back to the base. Up and around this way. Well, that was all essentially just a giant waste of time, but we learned something. We have a hard time dealing with creatures level 30 or above. I do not do enough damage at all. I'd like to move on to guns, but it requires high quality pal oil. From what I understand, you have to kill creatures like that big old mammoth at the beginning. Oh, hold on. Let's check this. We can indeed increase our capture power. Nice. Now that consumed all but one effigy, which means we need 11, we need 10 more. That shall be one of our goals. I am far too easily distracted. What was I doing? Let's go ahead and turn this wool into cloth. I'm sure there's already a bunch more at that other base, too. Speaking of which, there's a whole other slot. Still in this base, actually. Hold on. What of the new creatures might be worth mentioning in terms of putting it at the base here? What should we do? As a robe is three watering. That's something, I guess. This thing, three transportation, so I can pick items up and move them in the box as well. One kindling. Pretty interesting. We do have another tombat. Doesn't hurt to have more tombats. See what this Nox does. When fighting together, applies dark damage to the player's attacks. Whatever. Only does gathering. Okay. Having another tombat might be the thing we do. Or actually, another pen king. There we go. Never hurts. Literally never. Let's go to the other base and assign another Kremis, maybe? Or Vixie. I'm not sure. We are going to sort out the box, though, because it was getting messy near the end there. Let's see. What else do we want here? More Vixies? More something else? This is the ranch base, so it wouldn't hurt to have anything else that could be produced passively. I don't think I have many creatures that can produce things at the ranch, though. I really don't. Malpacas. These produce wool. Hmm. Mao. Sometimes digs up gold coins. Yeah, but the Vixie already does that. Plus other things. Just seems superior. Far superior. Screw it. Let's just put in another Vixie. Right there. Sort out the pound deck again. And I'm not going to bother collecting the things. There's no need to. Go back to the normal base. Hmm. You know, I'm actually curious. If I come back here, is it possible to fight this boss for those ancient technology things again? Or is there just no point? The ancient civilization parts. It says 10 minutes. Hold on. Let me get off my wolf. Wait, I can... Now we have to test this. We can just do this again? We can. What? Is she actually going to be in there? We're sciencing. It seems as though we can. We have the cutscene and everything. I'm bored already, Skip. All right, cool, I guess. Let's get the battalion out and just start murking. I didn't think this would work, especially so quickly. Thought it would be like the Pen King where it would be over an hour respawn if you could even fight her again. So, you know what? The battalion can handle most of this. Where are they? Oh, I put them away. You can get something called Ancient Civilization Parts, which are used for crafting very specific things. And I'm pretty sure these bosses always drop them. Which means there are reasons to farm this stuff. <laughs> well, this works for me, I guess. It's just free XP. If I remember correctly, she did give quite a bit of XP. Plus the Ancient Civilization Parts, it really doesn't cost me much apart from arrows, which are being basically infinitely produced at my base. Just unload relentlessly into this until it's over. While I can face tank the attacks, I would rather reduce the amount of damage being done to my armor because I'm sure it's going to be expensive to repair. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it's a laser attack. It takes an eternity to wind up. I suppose they want to give you a lot of time to be ready for it. Oh. I don't know why, it's just sauntering at me aggressively. Trying to assert your dominance in the boss arena or something? Nope, now you're moving faster. I see. <laughs> oh man, very entertaining. One of the things I've had the most fun with in this game is actually the bad AI. It's just something entertaining about it. There are plenty of good features to this game. The AI is, but not in the sense that you would expect. It's mostly good because it's funny. 
So bad it's good, as they would say. Hmm, it really would be nice if I could do more damage. Now the obvious answer to that, the obvious solution, is to get more levels. But I'm sure there's a way that I could automate a system for me to get guns and bullets and such. I'll have to figure that out at some point. Seems like it would be worth it. Because if I could take something like this, where I'm doing, well, about 200 damage, yeah, about 240 to the chest, and then if I could just scale that up to have the fire rate of an assault rifle, well, now I'm out damaging my pals by a mile. It was a good idea to upgrade to this crossbow, for sure. I get the feeling the triple shot bow would have just done nothing to this thing. Actually, you know what? Can I catch this? Immune to spheres. Okay. Headshot. That's <laughs> just the ragdoll. Just kick him around the base. I mean the place. I don't know why I called it the base. Did I get the ancient civilization parts? No. I think I just got XP. Huh. Weird. I would have expected the civilization parts. Oh well. We learned that we can just kind of re-challenge this boss anytime we want, really. Not a bad thing. Just gives us a way to farm XP. Arrows for XP? Not a bad translation. I should probably... I don't know why it just appeared in my head, but I have remembered that I should probably repair my pickaxe. I can't. I don't have any ingots. Wait, really? That's a problem. Let's go ahead and collect the ore and set up more to cook. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get over that sound when you just pick up like a hundred items at once. Like this. Wonderful. Let's just drop half the stack, getting a serious sense of deja vu. Did the same exact thing with another stack, I think, in the last episode, or the one before it. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and set more to cook. Another 170. Nice. What's this? Precious dragon stone. Gem stone like ball collected from pals. Could be sold to a merchant for a high price. So we'll put it in the other valuables chest. In with these things? Right? Yeah. Right in there. Oops. Okay. Well, Batalia's out now. Take these out of there. Put these recipes in. Old bow. That can get dropped or discarded or whatever. I'm not gonna be crafting an old bow. Why would I ever do that? How's this egg coming along? 22 minutes to go? It's gonna be a while. Cloth is still on the way. I get the feeling we have quite an excess of that. We probably don't need anywhere near as much as we've gotten. Or actually, well, I don't know. If it's anything like Ark, we probably still don't have enough. You'll never have enough of anything, ever. Ooh, more pallium. Wonderful. Let's grab the stone as well. Slowly make our way to the chest here and drop everything in. There's the civilization parts. We have five of them. I feel like we should have more. We might have to raid some dungeons to get more of them. Let's see. What can I do to get better spheres? I can do the giga spheres, but they take ingots. Yucky. What about that other bird that I got? The van worm? Let's look for a saddle for it. Van worm. Van. Where? Oh, where? Van worm. Right here. Takes a couple flame organs. I have those being produced passively, so that's fine. A couple ingots. Sure. Let's craft it. Right in here. Van worm. Right here. Looks like the robin quill is going to be working on that. Good. Stay busy. Oh. I think my Patalia is starving to death. <laughs> Whoops. What is this? Cotton candy? Where the hell did I get this? Whatever. I'll just eat it. Didn't feed me very much, now did it? Oh yeah, she was starving to death. Well, shit happens, I guess. <laughs> That's my excuse. Sometimes I just forget to feed. Ah, there we go. 600 some odd berries. That's what I'd like to see. How are we looking on the baked berries here? 180. Should be fine for now. Put half of them in there. And oh yeah, we got this thing, didn't we? Put some baked berries in my food slot. There. Something I should do, probably, is come over here and convert the wheat into flour. 91 flour, we're gonna want more. You know what? I'm gonna go into that other biome for a little bit. This one to the north, and start murking or catching things. I don't care which, because I want wheat seeds, and it seems like everything up in this area gives wheat seeds. Those floppies, for instance, I believe gave wheat seeds. So let's get some. Uh, should we hit it again? Probably. Sure. There we go. Almost down. 25% is a pretty good catch rate. Oh, there's quite a few of these. Alright, we caught one, and we got a wheat seed already. Nice. Oh, well, that one's dead. Two wheat seeds. Oh, these are those birds that were attacking me before. These damn things. Well, I'm a little bit stronger now, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, there goes that power shot thing. Triple hitting again. I don't know why. It won't do it unless they're almost dead already. I don't understand that. Really don't. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm being attacked by a Robin Quill. Those things still freak me out a little. They are level 24 after all. Ouch. 
Okay, we're gonna have to get out the wolf for a little bit. He's almost down. On to the deer. Ugh. Oh, oh my goodness. What was that? What the hell? <laughs> that hit me like a truck. Well, my deer is wasted. Time to replace it with the van worm. Goodbye, deer. It's been a good run. Actually, do I have anything else that would be stronger? Nah, we'll just take the van worm thing. Is that settle? Done? Close? No, not even close. What if I set the battalion on it? Oh, not bad. Then if I help, still kind of slow. I'll say it's not a priority. Let's go get our loot. Man, I got wasted. I don't know, that, that seed bomb or whatever that the Robin Quill does? Apparently if you're right in the center of it when it explodes, it does an insane amount of damage. Because that hit like a truck. Some, oh, okay, these guys just spawned all around me. That's pretty weird. Don't know how to feel about that. Okay. <laughs> weird. Batalia, go. Merc this dork. Get him. Yeah. Hit him with the bubbles. <laughs> Get wasted, nerd. Nice. That guy didn't drop anything. It's too bad. It is pretty nice seeing the Batalia just kind of do all the work for me. Oh, that one dropped something. What does he drop? Medical supplies and arrows. Okay. Nothing amazing. Not terrible, though. Anything that keeps my supply of arrows constant is welcome. If I remember correctly, these Cinemoth things also provided wheat seeds. So, that's right, Battalia. Mass aggro. Merc this thing. I'll try to catch it, but I'm not going to make it a major priority. Whoa, whoa, what was that? That should probably be enough. Don't kill it. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to catch this thing. 15% is a pretty good rate, I'd say. I'm poisoned, apparently. Taking, how much is that? 19 damage. Let's go ahead and send the Vitalia out to distract it again. I don't think it's a good typing, but the Vitalia has more than just grass-type moves, like that water right there. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Come on, duke it out. Get him down, Vitalia. Uh, right about there should be fine. Now we use the crossbow. Oh, should have rolled. Should have bobbed when I weaved. We've already caught one of them. Might as well go for the second. And easy peasy. We only need five more of those. I think I like the idea of duking it out while I'm on foot. Letting the Patalia do most of the work. Seems convenient. Uh, let's go ahead and get up here. If I can. Hold on. Hop on the night wing. Just so I can come up this little ramp here. My health is low, actually. Okay, just start the fight then. Ouch. Okay, elephant go. Kill. Murder. I'm gonna help this time because I'm a little paranoid about being in this corner. Ouch. I was planning on coming up here and using the Elephant and the Battalia to heal, but instead my bird went full aggro. Okay, I already used this one, so now we'll take the Battalia out. You heal me as well? Thanks. I appreciate it. How many seeds do we have? We got a lettuce seed. Where did that come from? Berry seeds? Don't even need them. Discard. Wheat seeds. We only have two? Really? Time to get on the bird again? See another Cinemoth in the distance. Your ass is gonna be mine. Start with the biggest attack I have. This power bomb. Wow, that wasted it in one shot. Lettuce seeds again. I can't even craft a lettuce plantation. Robin Quill. What do you drop? Also, it's a collectible. Apparently missed that. Oh, should we try to catch this thing again? We'll try using some of our bigger spheres. Let's try. Power bombs start right off. Wow, almost wasted him. Screw it. Use the big boy balls. Try one crossbow bolt. Yeah, we'll stop there. Don't get hit by that. That sphere thing. Or that bomb hits like a truck. Okay, we'll try the mega or giga spheres. 43%. That's pretty nice. That's a big bump from the original. A very big bump. Huge. I got two wheat seeds. Two of them. Why two? Let's power bomb this bristle as well. Ooh, half its health. Oh, perfect chance to catch. Let's go back to the normal spheres now. Let's just keep murking things. Screw it. Actually, I think I'll just catch this one bristle and then call it good. Ouch, ouch, ouch. They're hitting me much harder than the bird. The bird is tankier, even though I've got armor. Come on, just stay in the sphere. You and me are gonna be friends? Yes, friends forever. Actually, you know what? Things are really getting populated here. I'm gonna get out. Where's the nearest teleporting thing? To the south. Let's get out of here. I feel like things just started spawning in around me. Wasn't this populated a second ago? Yeah, see, we just cleared that corner out and there's three cinemas and a bristle. It seems like the shift of time just kind of gives you sudden spawns. Uh oh, I hear Robin Gwill, get out, get out. Those things are dangerous. That was like seven simultaneous Tomcats just doing Tomcat noises at once. But this has been episode 20 of the Power Road series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm gonna reload this thing. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.